What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'll be explaining the settings menu in Pet Simulator 99 because many people do not understand a lot of like a lot of what they actually do. And I'm here to explain them because they're not actually that hard to understand and grasp. So let's just get right into it. We're going to go into these settings as you can see right here. And you know, a lot of these are straightforward. So we got the music right here, which you know, it's the music. I mean, if you can just toggle how, how much do you want the music to be. Yeah, I don't really use this. I just use people box uh, volume up here and then the sfx is actually just sound effects so it's like um ha like the hatching sound effects it's like a pop and then stuff like that so it's going to you know if you guys want this turned off do like put it like on the left if you want it all the way put it like that but i just keep mine in the middle um those are the two pretty basic ones found in most games like most of the top roblox games so those are pretty basic and then we have show other pets which actually um it actually shows all, all the other pets so unfortunately they don't have a button where you can hide your your own pets but you can hide other people's pets by simply just toggling this as you can see on and off and then we have the trading as you can see we have the all you can have all friends and disabled i usually keep mine at all because well i usually you should guys should keep yours at friends because because many people you know they, they spam trades and add, it's very annoying because a lot of people just do that for some reason just to, I, don't know, get, I don't know get free pets or they like beg but I, yeah usually i recommend you guys keep this on friends but i'm just gonna keep it on on all for now and uh yeah that's so it's like sort of the uh, trade trading uh, request sort of thing and then the pet uh, sfx is just pet sound effect so it's like when the pets collect coins and stuff i'm not going to uh sh like show in the vi in this video because i have my uh, volume uh, turned down but like when the when the pets collect coins they're, they're going to emit uh sound effects and if you guys want that turned off you can do so uh by turning this off and on so by by turning this off you're not going to hear anything and then the notifications i'm actually for the notifications i'm going to demonstrate it in the last area all right guys so i'm in the last area the last area you know it has the most for uh, for me at least that has the most drops i just do this and the notifications thing it's just like whenever you get like a new uh pet like like or, or a new enchantment not a new pet but what am i talking about a new enchantment so as you can see we got an enchantment right there if you turn this off that these sort of pop-ups are not going to show up so if you if i turn this off they're not going to show up i'm going to get them like by surprise it's not going to actually show me or anything so that's that Clan notifications it's pretty much the same thing except what's like it's just notifications that come from our clan like someone uh, joins the clan or they leave uh, i don't know if they leave when they leave the clan but i know what that when they join the clan or when they put money or like gems into it then that's going to go off so you guys want this off then you can turn this off like that mount titanics i have never had a titanic before but i'm pretty sure there's a button to uh, like sort of ride them or fly them in this case there's one that you could fly and that's if you guys want the button to be uh, on then i guess you can be on but if you guys like, don't want the button to be there and it's sort of getting annoying then you can turn that off as you can see and pets follow taps if you guys have the auto farm game pass it's not going to really you know work but if i just sort of pop, like go to like random parts here as you can see my pets are following where i click so they're going into those like sort of uh, vaults where i click but if i have this turned off so if i go into here and i turn this off it is not going like look i'm, I'm clicking in this sort of area and they're not actually following moving on we have the show boost which is pretty self-explanatory as you can see i have boosts in this lower left hand corner if i turn this off the boosts are gone well they're still there but i just can't see like which ones are active and whatnot and then we have the action menu which is you know a lot of people actually like including me i think this is the hardest one to understand and there's priority and always so what this is referring to is like when you right click so when you have this on priority which i believe is the default and you go into the inventory and you have to right if you right click on anything you're gonna have this sort of menu and this is pretty much the action menu so if you right click you're going to have these but like if you cl if i click on a pet it's going to i'm just going to edit mode if i click on a pet it's going to uh, if i click on the pet it's going to unequip it as you can see right there let me turn off edit mode there we go but if i turn this off if i turn this on always and i go here if i try to unequip pet, let me go back into edit mode if i try to unequip the pet it's going to just bring it with my like left uh click it's going to just bring me the action menu you know by default so but pretty much if you have it on priority you're going to need to use right click to actually activate it if you have not always then you just need it to do left click and the most simplest way i can explain it to you guys but i hope you guys understand if you guys have any any questions 
make sure to leave them down below in the comments. Next up, we have the notification SFX, which is just notification sound effects. And this is just the uh, you know, sound effects that come up when you get a notification. And I'm going to show you guys what notifications are. So that's, you know, if you guys want, don't want that showing up, then you can just turn this off for mute items. So I guess mute items is just like the items and then you all include the items and like clan stuff and whatnot so it's just and then we have show next area but in this case i actually don't have a next area usually in the top center there's going to be a uh, next area sort of thing it's going to show up with the the next like if you, if you can want the next area or whatnot it's just up there and if you guys don't want that showing then you can turn this off it's pretty hard for me to explain because I, i'm actually in the last area yeah that that's pretty much what that is show clan tags it's pretty self-explanatory as you can see i have a clan tag if you zoom in i have a one cup clan tag if you guys want to join my clan by the way make sure to go in the comments and you know let me guys let me guys know your username and i will invite you so we have like six or seven members and i made slots for 20 so if you guys want to join and you guys don't have a clan make sure to join we've got one cub as you can see if i go into settings and i turn this off it's not there anymore so it's a pretty simple small thing but i don't know why they put a settings for that but yeah and then show pet placeholders which is also pretty pointless i don't know why they have this but if i go into edit toggle mode as you can see you have these like pet placeholders like these pets with like dashes are like over here as you can see and if i turn this off it's just nothing here and as you can see i guess it's to like save space and maybe it's more it's more cleaner if you have it off but uh, yeah but you know i'll keep it off and then reduce orbs is pretty self-explanatory it just reduces the amount of you know orbs that show up or like pretty much it just reduces that and that's pretty much you know the orbs that you collect when you have I mean, when you like collect items potions or like enchantments or all those items it, it just reduces the orbs so that's, that's the most simple so i can explain it to you guys i hope it makes sense and finally guys we have the vibration setting which just it pretty much just toggles the vibrations i understand what it does but for some reason like when i you know put a comment so like the comment is a pretty good example for some reason the comment doesn't really change like my camera shakes and whatnot but it doesn't really change so that's that's, that's strange this is like probably the most common example that i figured out but if you guys know what else it's used for because for some reason uh, maybe it's just me but if you guys have know why what else causes the vi a vibration and what the vibration thing is used for let me guys know in the comments below but it it seems like it does some it does something with the vibration like when that when the rot when that comet falls down and your camera sort of shakes that's pretty much what it sort of toggles but i can't get it to work for some reason so let me guys know down below in the comments but anyways guys that's pretty much it if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll have more videos out very shortly but that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching peace